Hello students today we are going to learn another one vegetative propagation method in the last class we have learned about layering and here we are going to learn about another method known as grafting 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 is another method used to produce superior quality plantlets this method is practiced from ancient times Superior quality plantlets are produced by joining the stems of two plants of the same species. So, here grafting is a method which is used to produce superior quality plantlets. Now, how we are producing that? It is produced by joining the stems of two plants of the same species. That is, we can do it only by using the plants which are coming under the same species. Or the, we, are, we are using the stems of two plants of the same species. Now, the rooted plant selected for grafting is called stock. Now, the rooted plant which we are using for grafting is defined as stock. And the branch selected for grafting is called sign. So, the second one is sign. That is the branch selected for grafting. So, this is the method grafting. Now, let's see what are the steps coming in grafting. Now, we will see the steps. First step is Peel off the bark from the facing sides of both the stalk and side in 3.5 cm length. So, just observe the picture. In that, stalk and sign is given. In that, we have to cut the facing sides of both the stalk and sign in equal length. After that, bring the peeled off portions of stalk and sign in contact. We have to Keep them together. They should come in contact. After that, wrap them together firmly with a jute twine. After bringing them together, wrap them with a jute twine. Next, cover it with a wax cloth or a plastic tape. After bringing them together, cover it with a wax cloth or plastic tape. After one month, now we have to wait for one month. Cut partially the stalk above the covered area. Now after finishing one month, we have to partially cut the stalk above the covered area. And the cyan below. So you can cut the stalk above the covered area and the cyan below after one month. Now wait for one more month. Now again we should wait for one more month and cut cut and detach the part completely. After waiting for one more month, we can detach the part completely. When it attains proper growth, it can be replanted in a more suitable place. Remove any new branches sprouting on the stalk. So after attaining the proper growth, we can replant it in a more suitable place place. Now we should remove any new branches sprouting on the stalk. So these are the steps coming in grafting. And here we have seen a method known as approach grafting. There are different types of grafting methods. In this here we have seen approach grafting. Okay. Grafting can be easily done on mango trees. That is, we can take the planlet of any mango tree in our native place as stock and we can take the branch of another mango tree like Malgova as sign and we can do grafting. Okay. Now, here let's see the video of approach grafting. Mm -hmm. This is an age-old method of grafting. This is in practice an important crop plant like mango, sapota, 
champaka etc search a twig of the mother plant which matches with the stem of the seedling in size in commercial nurseries ground nursery of dwarf mother plants are maintained for the purpose of approach grafting otherwise a platform like this is put to facilitate grafting bring both the stems together and put marks then give level cuts of 2 inches on both the stems let the cuts be of 30 to 40% of the thickness of the stems use sharp knife to give level cuts do not damage the stem with a blunt knife this point applies to all methods of grafting then keep both the stems together and tie with a plastic tape this tape avoids the entry of air and water inside the graft joints and avoids drying Tying a jute thread is necessary in this approach graft since both the stems are thick and stout. Now let us watch the method once again. June July months the beginning of the rainy season is the ideal time for approach grafting graft takes 2 to 3 months for healing during that period seedlings need watering it is easy if the rain does that job give vertical cut on the scion below the graft joint after the union seems perfect give one deeper cut after one week This brings down the dependence of the scion on the mother plant. Scion starts absorbing water and nutrients from the seedling through the graft joint. Then separate the graft from the mother plant. Cut off the seedling above the graft joint. Keep on removing the sprouts on the root stock below the union. We can get a bigger plant in approach grafting by selecting bigger shoot for grafting. 